Hello everyone, this is SBBFD Light Overlord, and welcome to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 8-Bit. We are continuing the Sonic LP roller coaster, and it's on a handheld called the Sega Game Gear. This game's also for the Sega Master System. I don't know how many people own that console, I did, never did. But if you own it, and you haven't got this game, well, go get it. Anyway, what's different between this and the Mega Drive version? Uh, not much. It's just probably a much harder version of the Mega Drive version. There are some changes, uh, here and there. Anyway, Green Hill Zone Act 1. Uh, easiest level, especially if you do what I did. I just love that glitch where you roll, uh, down the hill with the invincibility and you can skip the majority of the level. I had a run where I got near to the end of the level without the camera going back to Sonic. It's really funny. Anyway, you're wondering, hey, why is Eggman's face on the post? Well, the Game Gear games had this gimmick where depending on what's on the post will depend on what you get. With Eggman you get nothing. I think there's a ring. If you get a ring, you'll get 10 rings and if it's a question mark, no, not a question mark, exclamation mark, uh, You'll go to a special stage, but you only do that when you get uh, uh, 50 rings. So now you're probably thinking, oh, okay, so this is going to be the same as the Mega Drive version, where you have to get um, uh, 50 rings and then enter the goal, the giant ring and get the Chaos Emblem in the special stage. Nope! By the way, I just touched a checkpoint box. I'll explain those later. Anyway, what I was saying is the Chaos Emeralds are actually in the levels. And because this is uh, based off the first game on the Mega Drive, there are six. There's one Chaos Emerald in each level. So how many levels are in total? Six. So do the math. There's one Chaos Emerald in each one. Oh, stupid Buzz Bomber. Anyway, Green Hill Zone Act 2 is pretty cool. Uh, that Chaos Emerald is easy to find. Then again, I did kind of miss it on my first try, but I was just speeding run speed running the game. Gotta love this roll. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Anyway, Grid Zone Act 1 is done. I'll explain more about the Chaos Emeralds later, but for now we're entering a special stage, because I got 50 rings. So now you're wondering, well, what do you get in these special stages if you find the Chaos Emeralds in the levels? I'll continue! Because the game can be a bit harder than the Mega Drive version, you're gonna need these continues, but I'm playing on an emulator and I have save states, so they're not really needed. Not to mention the special stages get more and more annoying as you go along. Anyway, folks, that's it for part one. I'll see you in part two.